It's all about making a presentation using Keynote and Ecamm to present, make a video or a live and put it out to the world. You just have to do it. It's easier than you think. Now, I had a question asked of me on a video that I did several weeks ago. This was a video I did several weeks ago talking about the 10 different Ecamm overlay styles. Somebody asked a question. Let's take a look at the question. Now, this is kind of long and we're just gonna look at a small portion of it, but this is the whole thing. And if you're watching this on a phone, you can't read it, so I'm gonna read it for you. But this was a comment and a question made on that video that I did several weeks ago, and I just got it uh, like a day and a half ago. It says, I'm trying to put my sermon notes online weekly. I've been using the record through Keynote for the past four years, two sermons a week in one Bible class. What I'm trying to do is a pip, a picture in picture with Keynote slideshow in a screen share using a Stream Deck XL to advance slides and change scenes. Got it. Been a tough go the past month. I think what I'm going to wind up with is one of my Mac Minis controlling Ecamm, another Mini feeding the Keynote presentation through an Elgato Cam Link. Put my notes on the teleprompter. I've tried several ways to do it and none seemed to be satisfactory. And then it goes on a little bit and talks about what he does. And that's really, really cool. But at the end, I love it. It says, uh, Bo's your uncle. Cheerio, mate. Cool. First of all, I want to look at the assets. Here's the assets that are mentioned. Two Mac Minis. I have one. One Mac Mini. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over here. Ecamm software, Keynote software, and Elgato Stream Deck XL. Good choice. And a teleprompter. Don't know what kind of teleprompter doesn't matter. You just put your notes on it, follow the teleprompter. That really doesn't come into play for what I'm doing, but good to know you have a teleprompter. To show you what I've got, this is my setup, just looking over the shoulder. I have two monitors. I don't know whether you have, or, or the person who made this comment has one monitor or two. I'll show you how to do it with two. I'll also show you how to do it with just one monitor if that's all you've got. I also have only one Mac Mini. It is down, there it is, hanging off the wall. And I have a teleprompter, the Elgato teleprompter, and, and I have a Stream Deck XL and a Stream Deck, Deck not XL, but not mini. This has 15 buttons. This has 32 buttons. It's really kind of cool. And this, of course, most essential, is my coffee. So that's where we are. So let's get into this, show you my whole screen, and I'm going to make a brand new scene. Yeah, let's just make a brand new scene. So I will go up and go to scene, new empty scene. And it always defaults to a camera. So I can go back in there and you don't want that on. You, I want to go back into the scene and go to source and you see where camera is clicked, click it to blank. And it goes to a blank screen. Now it's, it, it's because I have a really cool background. I can turn that off, just have a blank screen. It doesn't matter whether I have this one on or off. So let's just go with blank. Now, on my other screen, I have Keynote already loaded in. And that's what we want to put on here. So we're going to go to this icon down here, which is also up here. But I'll go to it down here, top middle. And this is a screen share overlay. There it is. So I'm going to take off the border, kill the border, kill the radius completely, and just have this. And then I'm just going to make that widen that out until it fills the screen. There you go. Now you're saying, Bill, this is Keynote, but it's not running yet. Well, I can go over to Keynote and run it. And there it goes. There's your Keynote in Ecamm. But I want to put a picture in picture. So forget about the picture in picture option that's in Keynote, just go in and put in a camera overlay. And here I am. And I want to doll that up a little bit the way I had it. So I'm going to take my corner radius, put that up to about 30. And I want to make my border, put that at about five. And I'm good with that. And I'll drop myself down here in the corner Maybe make it a little bit bigger. It depends. There we have it. I've got Keynote running in the background. I can control it with my Stream Deck. Slide two, slide three, slide four, slide five, four, three, two, one. So exciting. I'm teaching about slides. 
This is slide one. This is slide two. I just didn't put any effort into the, for the sake, you understand. So, and here I am. Now I can make this, take the zoom, zoom myself in a little more if I want to, get a full face. This is kind of important because I've kind of struggled with this. You notice when I'm looking at the camera and it shows that I'm looking at the camera, but then when I look at my screen, I'm actually facing toward the slide, whereas it looks a little better for people that are watching. If I put it over here and I look toward the slide, it looks like I'm looking away from the slide. So if I need to reference the slide, I look over there, look at the camera. So I make it on this side. Now this essentially answers the question as, as far as I understand the question, but I do want you to take note of this. When you make your keynote slides, make them so that there's nothing down in where, wherever you're going to put this. Just make sure that there's no information putting this. You mentioned that you're doing Bible studies and sermons and your slides go along. So I'm assuming that you're putting scripture on there. And we put on a, you know, a nice portion of scripture and usually down in the lower right hand side, you have the reference to where the scripture is found. And you don't want to lose that by having it over here. Now, of course, you can put this absolutely anywhere. I just choose this size and I choose to put it there. You can put it anywhere you want to. Just make sure that when you make your keynote slides, your camera overlay doesn't block out part of the information on the slide. And that just comes down to how you make your slides in the first place. And if you start doing this in a very standard way, which you're saying you're doing two to three presentations a week, and you've done so for the past four years, kudos to you for being amazingly consistent. There is what I think a solution to the problem. And I think you can do this very well. It's easier than you think. I'm just saying. You make slides every week, two to three times. You put your notes on a teleprompter so that you're looking at the camera, which is really, really great. And if you have to look, you have your camera overlay situated in such a way so that if you happen to look at your slides, look at your, your screen, you're actually looking at the camera. Now, I want to show you something else. Let's make another scene, another blank scene, because I'm using two monitors, and I don't know whether the person who asked this question has two monitors or one monitor. So let's do it on one monitor. Go down here, start a brand new scene, and it comes up with camera as a default. I go up into source, click blank, got you a blank screen there, and I'm gonna drag Keynote over into this and go down, make it small or so that I can see stuff there as best I can. Just drop that down so we can see it a little bit better. So we've got the blank screen again. We want to pick now it says so so if I click it once it, it something it, it pops up the screen but I don't want the current application. I want Keynote, okay? So then when I come down here and click Keynote and play, it shows. And of course I can, I can set it so that it is full screen. Regardless of the size of this, I've still got my slide going on and then I can come down here of course and take my camera overlay and drop it right down there. And you have exactly the same thing and I did it on one screen. So that's how I would do it. Ooh, look at that, I lost my background. Let me see, isn't that colorful? That's how I would do it. You can do it on two screens, you can do it on one screen. Uh, one thing about Keynote, let's just go back to that. One thing about Keynote, in Keynote, when you go to the menus at the top, when you go over to play, you see options where it says play in window or play full screen. When you first turn Keynote on, click in window. That way you can size it down and use it that way. That should answer the question, and I hope it did. And I hope I made it sound easier than it needs to be because it's easier than you think. So if you would, I love answering questions and making videos where I answer questions. That's why I got excited when somebody said, hey, I got a problem. How can I fix this? 
This is how you can fix it. I love answering questions. If you look in the description, you'll see a link where it says, ask specific questions. You ask a specific question, more than happy to do my very best to give you a specific answer, something like this. And that way you get a better shot at doing things and I get an opportunity to help people. I absolutely love helping people.